Oh, well, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, I'm experiencing some Mego madness. Now, I didn't really collect the Migos. I was lucky when I was a kid that some of my um, brothers and sisters had some Mego figures. I had like Batman and um, Batgirl, and I was sort of fascinated by the material um, costumes over the plastic figures. Like um, um, Batgirl had like a jumpsuit that was printed and everything, and just I thought it was interesting. I eventually got the Uhura Mego because everything started with Uhura. She was my favorite figure, favorite character. So I often got like I got the 12 inch Playmates figure and like the Mego figure just of her and I didn't get the others it was a way to just get one of them and not sort of do the whole collection but eventually I ended up collecting them but for a long time I just had Uhura so everything in Uhura and that's it but um, I got the Mego and I don't know there are a few little issues like her um her delta kind of looked like sticky tape like just like silver when the original deltas were you know material like um they weren't like metal or anything and her bangs were too short, and her makeup was really um, slight. Um, and her um, her tights were like um, you couldn't see through them. And I wasn't really happy, but like, oh, you've got a Mego. And I liked that the artwork they recreated the artwork from the original, um, and it was a separate card inside a plastic um, bubble, so you could take it out and it didn't get damaged or anything. Um, and it's got the figures on the back. And then I started getting the others. So I got Spock, and I was kind of happy with Spock. Um, I like that they had the iron on um, gold and silver, and that looks more like the original logo. And got to Kirk, I really didn't like his face sculpt. He's, his forehead's flat and wide, and he looks kind of like the Romulan version of him from um, um, the Enterprise incident. And I kind of wanted the yellow outfit, but then I'm like, yeah, but the other ones will be yellow, and this one you've got a green one, so it's kind of different. And I got Sulu and Chekhov, and their costumes matched, and they all matched, and embossing, not the embossing, the, um, the iron-on all matched, because that one didn't. The Spock one was different. Her, Hura's was sewn on. His was printed on really gold, and these ones are really sort of not so bright, but at least they all matched for a while. Then we got to Scotty and um, McCoy. I'm like, what the hell happened? It's hard to tell. In person, they look worse. On video, they don't look as bad, but... It's like they're hard plastic painted, and they've got all this detail. They've got wrinkles and lines, and they don't look like they have Amigos. They're not in the Amigo style of that simple sort of toy um, sculpting. They're, they're trying to make them look like statues or sculptures or something, and they just look weird. The costumes at least match until you actually look at the Delta and see they've actually got more detail um, in them. And McCoy had his different outfit, um, so it sort of made him different. But... um. What happened to the other Scotty? Because here you can see that Scotty is a recreation of the original Scotty um, with the different hairline and everything. And I wanted that one. And I ended up with this one. I thought that's what I ordered. And where's the McCoy? I thought there was a McCoy, a recreated McCoy as well. But I haven't been able to that. All I've been able to find is the um, the um, the v vintage ones that are very expensive. So I haven't gotten them yet because I want to get rid of these. And I'll, I guess I'll get the the vintage Scotty swapped the costume over so it matches and I have the McCoy and I have the different one with a different costume I guess and I got Kirk because I didn't like the green Kirk and I found this one and he's sculpted much like um, Chekhov and Sulu but the costume doesn't match it's hard to tell again through the camera but this is much more of a warm sort of yellow not the sort of lighter sort of yellow like these ones are and it's got a plastic logo a plastic um Delta, which almost looks like one of the pins that um, the JJ characters had, when this was actually like a sewn on patch. So that's why these look more like the patches. But this, it's nice detail, but this detail it shouldn't really have. Um, it's like a plastic version of a material patch. But um, the rest of the costume is right, except this is like a, it's also like a more um, nylon y sort of material, where this is more. Um, Sort of like a, sort of like a matte finish. It's like a shiny finish. that has got a sheen to it. So, um, yeah. And then I ended up getting the other Uhura because, I mean, I liked her makeup. She had more makeup. The hair was more accurate. The bangs were better, and the costume had the um, the iron-on um, delta and everything, and the actual little um, tights. You actually see through them and everything. But I didn't really like her face. The makeup's better, but it doesn't look like her. Whereas this one, it looks like Uhura, but 
the makeup isn't right and the bangs aren't right. So it's like I can swap the costumes over. So the better costume on the better horror doll, but neither one is perfect. So none of them are right. There's something wrong, like the, the inconsistent uniforms, inconsistent sculpts and finishes, and it's just a mess. It's just mega madness, a mega mess. Um, and I just wanted to make a video about it and see what other people thought. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Mego selection of figures and sculpts and uniforms and inconsistencies and everything and who else collects them and what do they think and are there ones that are available that I'm just not aware of? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go.